today in this video you will learn about kidney stones what are kidney stones the symptoms of kidney stones what are the causes of kidney stones types and finally at the end of this video you will learn the treatment of these kidney stones so let us start with the definition of kidney stones Kidney stones are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside the kidneys. That may be of oxalates, phosphates or urates. These kidney stones are formed inside the kidney but they can travel through the urinary tract where they cause infection and severe pain. Severe pain in the side, back or lower abdomen. This pain is known as renal colic what are the symptoms of kidney stones the symptoms can be fever stomach pain dizziness vomiting blood in urine because of infection and backache next we will see what are the causes of kidney stone formation the kidney stones are formed in metabolic diseases like hypercalcemia hyperoxaluria or hyperuricemia what is hypercalcemia when there is high level of circulating calcium in the blood that is because of some other diseases like hyperthyroidism then hyperoxaluria is when there is high level of oxalate in the blood and oxalate is present in green vegetables and tomatoes hyperuricemia is because of high level of urea in the blood See the types of these kidney stones. These may be calcium stones, uric acid stones, strovid stones, or cystine stones. The incidence of calcium oxalate stones are 70%, calcium phosphate 15%. They are dark brown in color and hard and sharp. Uric acid stones incidence is 10%. They are softer than calcium stones and they are light brown in color and round in shape. Then struvid stones, their incidence is 15 to 20%. They are large and horn shaped. They have branches. These are formed because of infection. Then incidence of cystine stones are just 1 to 3 percent. They are yellowish in color and their structure is soft and waxy. Finally, we will talk about its treatment. There are various types of treatments. Number one, extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy. Number two, erythroscopy. Number three, percutaneous nephrolithotomy and number four surgery let us discuss the extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy first that is also known as eswl this technique is used to break up stones in the kidneys ureter or gallbladder in this technique high concentration of x-rays or ultrasound are directed from machine outside the body to the stone inside here you can see the x-rays are directed from outside of the body to the stone inside these shock waves break up the stone into smaller pieces or sand like structure which are passed out of the body into the urine in urethroscopy a thin scope is passed through urethra to urinary bladder to the ureter where the stone is removed or broken up using a laser Percutaneous nephrolithotomy is a surgical technique where large stones are removed through small incision in the back. Finally, surgery is required if the stones are too large or complicated to be removed.